All right, guys, so we're here. I got the water already. I was like, oh, man, I'm supposed to be filming. But I got a little container there. I'm going to put the substrate or whatever you want to call it in. Uh, I seen a crawdad, but it's not in here. So I'm just going to do this. And do the water. Probably can get some snails and a little bit of algae and stuff in here. Slipped a couple times. You see my foot steps, friends. Right. Here we go. And all I'm gonna do is come right over here. Gotta get my hand right. Scoop up a little bit of the bottom. I'm struggling. Struggling. Got a little bit of water and stuff in there. Pour that on it. I can already see a little snail. Can't one going. I gotta get a spot that I can get some mud. Let me move out some of this LG. It's pretty much all clay. Not much mud. Right over here. I um, don't want to step on plants. Plants in here. Mm. Alright, here we go. This is not working that well. Alright, here's a spot that will probably work better. Come on, guys, when I get this done, because it seems like it didn't take a minute. Alright, guys, so this is my ecosphere here. I made it out of creek water from my creek that's going through my yard. I want to see what it would be like, what's in the creek for one. And I made it on August 31st, 2018. And I've been seeing snails and stuff. There's one right there. And there's these little critters that look like snails. And there's one that almost looks like a slug. I'll see if I find them for you guys. But if you know, guys know what a fresh water is like, Thing would be like a worm almost that stays in the ground is please tell me and then I'll see if I find the slug to show you guys I've noticed that he likes going around the perimeter it's got a little bit of algae and stuff in there it looks like just took a scoop up from the ground I had some struggles that was hard all my there he is but if you got if you guys know what this is please tell me so I have no clue. And then I don't think that there's any in right there right now. And a snail in the back. There's a microorganism. Some sort. Yeah, this is like the front right here. Sorry about the dirt. I just look up here. There are leaves and sticks and stuff in. And... Yeah, if you guys know what this guy right here is, I would very appreciate it if you told me. He's got like a white thing on his back, but you, if you guys have seen that movement right there in the middle, you can only see a little bit. Of course, my camera goes blurry, but you can see the little worm things. Sorry about my dog. If you guys know what those things are, I would really like to know. And my this algae and stuff in there. I took a canning jar, put the lid on real tight. And we're gonna see what grows. Now I'm gonna tell you guys what an ecosphere is. And an ecosphere is actually a like jar or something that is sealed tight. And nothing can like air can't get out. See, I see how the moisture is staying up here. When it when it gets up, it, like into clumps, it'll fall back in the water. And we're gonna see what grows. But you just get a scoop of pond, lake, whatever body of water you have near you. Get a little bit of substrate, dirt, whatever, and you see what ends up in it. And in my case I got a little slug thing and yeah those little things and snails and stuff I'll do an update on the baby snails here maybe tomorrow 
If you guys want to see more videos on Ecospheres, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any more Almighty Adventures.